Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial by me, underscore Jupiter underscore. Today I'm showing you how to get your very own Agario server. This tutorial is just to get you a server that only you can play on. I'm going to be doing another tutorial next week that will show you how to play on this server with your friends. So it's actually extremely simple. In the description there's a link that looks like this, bit.ly dot ly slash ogar server files you just want to click on that link and it will take you to a page that looks like this it's a very simple page and you just want to click on this second link here agar windows 9 beck 584.exe click on that it will start a download you can save this wherever you want i'm just going to save it in my downloads file for now that's going to start downloading and i will just go and find that in my downloads folder here so as you can see it's downloading at the moment that will be done in a second and once it's done, it will create a file that looks like this. Don't run it here. You want to right click, press new here, click folder, just call it like Agario Server. Like that. It doesn't matter what that's called, that can be anything you want. Then you just want to drag this into that folder. Then you can see it's in here. Now you can run it in here. It will thing, the thing will pop up that looks like this, and as you can see in the background, it's generated two null files. You can just type exit in here to close that, and now you can configure it if you want. Um, in this file, this is the configuration as you can see, I'll show you a bit about this in a minute and in here it the logs which doesn't really mean anything to you so to do it, this is now ready to play on, you can just run this as you can see here and in the description there's another link which will look like this agar.io question mark IP equals and then as you can see here is the local host IP this is the same for every single person in the world <laughs> and here is the port which is normally 443 if you're using this file it will be anyway so yeah that's done now I'm just gonna refresh it because you need to refresh it each time you restart your server and it will be able to play now on free for all because that's what it's set on and as you can see we are now in our very own server as you can see in the top right we are the only people in the game because it's our server and only we can play on it and uh, now we're gonna configure it maybe add some bots and show you some of the simple configurations so we'll just close the server now so we can e edit it like that and as you can see in the game we have been disconnected which is fine so we just hop back into this file let's look at the configuration so you don't want to mess with any of this unless I tell you to so this is just the free-for-all this is the game mode at the moment zero free-for-all two uh, no one is um, team mode which obviously won't work by yourself uh, two is experimental um, Free is party, which again won't work by yourself, and then it goes all the way up to a bunch of numbers. All I know is 11 is Hunger Games, and 12 is Zombie Infection, but I'm not sure what the others are. You can just probably try them out, and it will show you. So this is the amount of bots you have. These are really fun to play with on your own, because you know you don't want to be lonely in your own server. You can have however many bots you want, but if you have more than about 10, it does start getting a bit laggy. So I'll just leave that on like free for now. But you can have as many as you want. I've had it running with 25 before, but it has been quite laggy. So you don't want to really mess with this, 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 or this. But this is how big your map will be here. So you can change this to say 12, and this one to 12 as well to make sure it's square. And that will make it twice as big as it normally is. But we just want a small map for now because there's no one else in the game. Okay. You don't really want to mess with any of this. Uh, this is the amount of food. So you know the little blobs that spawn everywhere? This is how much mass you'll get for eating one of them. We'll change them to five so it's a bit easier to get mass. So here we can see eject mass. This is how much mass you... Um, no, this is how much mass you lose when you eject, when you press W. And this is how much comes out. So as you can see, at the moment, default, you lose four mass each time you eject. Uh, let's change this to 17. This means each time we eject, we only lose 16. However, if we eat it again, we'll get 17 back. So you don't really want to have that unless you want people to be able to get mass really easily. You normally want this number here to be lower or the same as this number here. So we'll just change that back to 16 so it's the same. Don't really want to mess with this or this. Uh, this is the amount of mass that you'll start with when you join the game. I'll change this to 30 so I start a bit bigger. This is the biggest that it's your um, blob that a single cell can get. So default is 22,500. You can change this as, again as big as you want. But uh, if you have it too big, then if you manage to get so big via commands or whatever, then you won't fit in the map here. So you'll have to make this bigger to make sure you can fit. Uh, you, um, This is how big uh, your blob has to be before it can split with spacebar. So it has to have at least 36 mass before you can split. This is the amount of cells it can have. You can change that up if you want or down if you only want them to have lower cells. 
and this is the name that you can have so whatever your name is and the rest of it you don't really want to mess with so you can just save that by doing control s or file save uh, then you can close it, run your server, and it'll update all the settings. So as you can see, it's loaded three bots, and it's still on free for all because I didn't change the game mode. So we can just come back here, refresh the page to make sure that it's. Fun. You have to refresh the page each time you restart the server, or you won't be able to join. Uh, and it'll just say connecting. And as you can see, we've started with 30 mass, and uh, <laughs> we died. Um, so yeah, we'll just join again quickly. So as you can see, you set with 30 mass, and each of the blobs gets us five extra. In the top right, you can see the leaderboard. There is three bots in the game. They're called Bot 1, Bot 2, and Bot 3 at the moment. I'll just show you how to change the name now. This is actually really easy. You don't do it in the config. You have to actually create a new file to do it. So you right-click uh, in your Agario server thing. Press New. Um, text document and call it Bot Names. And then Enter. And then in here, you can just enter any names you want for the bots on a different line. Skins will work with bots. Any skins you know will work with a bot. You can enter as many lines as you want on different names. And it, the bot will choose a random name from this file to be called. I've actually got a nice file on my actual Agario server that I will show you. There will be a download link to this file in the description. With um, every single skin name on a different line so your bots will just be a different skin each time the download to this file will also be in the description okay so that's basically the server for this tutorial done today thanks for watching guys um, i hope you enjoyed next week remember i'm going to be doing another tutorial on how to get your friends to be able to play on this server you've now created so check back next week on the tutorial on how to be able to do that so thanks for watching guys and i hope to see you next time